Hey guys, in today's video we're going to be comparing two Lenovo P15 Gen 2 mobile workstations. Let's talk about it. One has an i7-11850H, where the other one has an i7-11800H. It's really the only difference between the CPUs. Second is the video card, or the GPU inside. One has the A3000 GPU, and the other one has an A2000 GPU, so a step down in each one. Um, the one with 11850H has the higher A3000. The one with a lower CPU has the lower GPU. So this is essentially a stepping stone of the next model. There's a few models below these. However, there's several models above them, ranging up to the i9, the Xeon with ECC memory, all the way up to the A5000, which I have a video coming soon. Other than the CPU and GPU, these machines are identical. If you look in this video here, I have a comparison of the outside, all the ports, all the I.O., um, pretty basic video kind of going over it. I've ran some more extensive tests on both of these, and I have some pretty interesting numbers. Um, hopping over to the performance differences, as you can see on the screen down below, we kind of have some interesting numbers. The CPUs are nearly identical rendering-wise. The faster CPU, the 11850H, is 88 seconds faster than the 11800H. Not a huge difference there. Comparing the Passmark Complete difference, the faster machine scores right at 250 points faster than the step below. Looking at the CPU speed, about 1900 points faster, and the CPU single thread is 99 points faster. So there's not a huge single thread performance difference between the 11850 and the 11800. Comparing the Passmark 3D score, the faster GPU, the A3000, is about 620 points faster than the A2000. So a little bit of a difference, not a massive amount. However, the interesting part starts whenever we look at the GPU render times through both of these cards when running the full Blender suite. I do want to note on the A2000, I could not get this machine to complete the Blender vector test. It would not run. All the BIOS are the same. Everything's on the same Windows update. Everything's on 21H2. Same drivers, same GPU version. Everything is the same. Identical. I even went as far to reload the machine. Still can't get it to complete. There may be a bug in the A2000 versus the A3000 when running this test. I don't know. It would never finish. As you can see in the data down below, each machine hit a thermal throttle. However, the faster machine hit it quite a bit quicker than the step down A2000 model. I thought about rerunning these tests with a cooler ambient temperature. However, that wouldn't really be a true use case for these as I would feel like 72 degrees is pretty much a common average temperature that these machines are going to be used in, so I didn't want to skew the numbers too much. Price-wise, the 11800 with the A2000 runs about $3,800 to where the step up with the 11850 and the A3000 runs about forty, about $4,600. Total price difference, you're looking at about $1,000 difference for the step up model. Now, here are my thoughts on the CPU. Though there's about $1,000 difference between models, it's really going to depend on the use case. The primary difference between the CPUs is the 11850H has vPro and faster clock speeds. GPU-wise, the A2000 versus the A3000 all comes down to memory. The A2000 has 3 gigabytes of memory, to where the A3000 has 6 gigabytes of memory. So where does that leave us? Well, it really kind of depends on the use case. If you're going to be doing long, consistent work where this thing is going to be rendering something for 10, 15, 30 minutes, I don't know if it would be worth the difference going up to the faster model simply because of thermals. If you're doing slower burst renders, say 5 to 10 minutes, the faster option is likely going to be the best bet if you need the extra speed. So where does that leave us? The faster, more expensive model is about $1,000 more. The slower model has half the amount of video memory. Comparing the CPU, there's not a whole bunch of difference. Comparing the GPU, it really depends on what you're doing. If you're using a piece of software that requires a lot of video memory, it's a no-brainer. you got to do the A3000 or faster. If you're not saturating all the video memory, 3 gigabytes may be enough. I would say stick with a slower model. There really isn't that much of a difference for the money. Overall, I love the P15 Gen 2s. They're great 15-inch machines and they're workhorses. They come with great warranties and you can go all the way up to a 5-year warranty on these things. Really, it's going to come down to what you're doing with it and what build you need to go with. Overall, if someone asks me for a desktop replacement that's going to handle anything they're going to throw at it, or a mobile workstation, I love the P15 Gen 2s. If they need a bigger screen, P17 Gen 2s. If they need something a little bit lighter, a P1. Honestly, they're all great machines. It's really going to come down to the use case and what you're using it for. 
I appreciate you watching the video. If you have any comments, please comment down below. I'll be sure to get to them. And stay tuned. I have another P15 Gen 2 with the A5000 coming up. Thanks, and have a great day.